only technical education it's about having everything actually it's, it's about connecting ideas connecting matters actually the main theme of us is like connectivity really matters like it's having connections all around out of that what we had we had a wonderful magazine article it's all about connections that have been published in ipli microwave magazine we got our publicity because ipli student which is a very famous facebook page the official facebook page for ipli students we got uh, like a publicity there they published our event and finally we also got the devil chong student activity award in 2021 for this wonderful activity that so it was a really good news really a happy news for all of us because there were good things coming around now based on the feedbacks and like ideas we came up with something so feedbacks were there and then we know only one thing like somehow education is related to this term known as digital divide the point we converged was like ideas like the ideas that student gave for that one day of workshop it was not even one day we can say like it was an half day workshop with a half day workshop with the such and brilliant students brilliant small students they gave us ideas and we know somehow education should be a major factor how they can really have this technical education or like they can bridge this digital divide around and students are one of the most uh, prominent and like you teach a child you teach a child they will be teaching a nation actually so this is what teach your children and see how they are capable of providing solution you don't have to provide solutions to them you have to teach them how to solve the problem how to provide solution and again so this all things happening and like is it then like, is it really then this is the thing right like, is it really end then finally while going back so i was just going around and you can see like these are the sustainable development goal sdg that was in my uh, which was also the title of my talk sdg so out of this you can see this was sdg4 quality education now coming back to rural india are we really providing quality education to them this was one of the question now we all knew that this was the fact like we were really not uh, able to provide quality education of them because mainly the main reason was lack of resources and lack of connectivity connectivity is also one of the crucial role for this lack of education like quality education that we couldn't provide so what we came to know since ipl was already there we we formed a side group it was not a side group but we came to know something on the side of the side because you know like it was a global network like it was like identifying the problems addressing the local problems and applying technical skills so this applying technical skills this was quite interesting we were not applying technical skills we were teaching students to apply their technical skills and we were also partnering with the local communities and we know perfectly because we need fund for it because the event that we do for half day workshop it was funded by our own chapter so we we didn't have much fund at that time but to run it on a larger scale we need fund to on this particular topic so what we did we knew that what was the vision what was the mission of ipli site and it perfectly fitted us because it was the undeserved community around the world who want to really benefit from technology and edu for thing education through technology itself is a very uh, interesting topic because you teach them what it is really fact of about all the things now it was really a proud moment for all of us just in the fact like around 2011 the site group was actually uh, formed and launched in kerala and india here in india so you can just have like brilliant ideas coming around from india itself uh, so we came around this idea and then it was known as e hub so what we want to make it was simple like electronic obi hub for technical development in rural schools so that it can impart some technical project so there are like uh, pressing community needs so this was the funding it is now actually closed it was for 2022 so back then in december 2022 we did this event and in 2021 we applied for it we applied for the funding around in march 21 and then the it, we were really happy actually we were really happy because it was rejected now once the project is rejected so is it then so i will be using this thing because being an uh, thing like big being at least at this stage we always think like if kuch agar kuch hua nahi to abhi sab khatam ho gaya aur kuch karne ka nahi So we don't get this motivation, self-motivation kind of thing. So this is the thing. Is it then? No. So what we did because we thought that it was something education-related. Let's apply for a STEM grant. So, uh, chalo, like STEM grant. Kile apply karte. It was in 2021. 
वो लोग भी मतलब इट वाज अ वेरी गुड फंडिंग एक्चुअली इन 2021 एंड वी वर दे वर एक्सेप्टिंग एप्लीकेशन एंड देन अगेन वी वर वेरी हैप्पी बिकॉज़ इट वाज रिजेक्टेड इट वाज एक्चुअली रिजेक्टेड सो वी अप्लाइड फॉर साइट फंडिंग इट गॉट रिजेक्टेड वी अप्लाइड फॉर स्टेम फंडिंग इट गॉट रिजेक्टेड again uh, we had another rolling submission so the thing is that once you uh, get rejected it is not only rejection you will be getting comments from them like what are the points uh, why you are getting rejected so this is the good thing like you have to accept your rejection so that you can correct it by accepting the rejection that we got we corrected ourselves we corrected ourselves together we corrected and applied for a uh, funding in september 2021 and to our surprise finally we got the funding in december 2021 we finally got the funding in december 2021 with this funding we visited we have actually found uh, three different locations so one was like usapur school in assam one was tipam phake school in assam because this five, we visited five schools initially right out of the five schools the two school the children of that school were really interested and also the school administration and here in west bengal so this is quite a very uh, a uh, different topic different in the sense like different kind of volunteering skills actually what to be said because geographically west bengal and assam are two different states in assam west bengal where i am studying and assam where i belong to now this two was like the coordination between this was a very important factor the coordination between this between two states and that to also remotely using internet so this is an challenging task and somehow we could come ahead of it and in december 2022 the mous were signed with both the schools as you can see mous were signed with both the schools so uh, to deal with it and this was in assam this is was in uh, in kharagpur this in kharagpur like we have uh, teachers and uh, school principals like from iit kharagpur uh, they also visited there and here in assam from tejpur university dr dulak sinwal sir actually uh, like is coordinating this whole program back then back there and here like uh, we have our faculty advisor dr vivek dikshit from iit kharagpur and dr minal kanti mandal from iit pali kharagpur section the vice chair who were actually there so they actually delivered a talk even with this group of students and we coordinated not only we coordinated but also we celebrated lots of things so recently we have this iit pali education week we celebrated it this iit pali education week this photograph was uh, also shared by the official iit pali educational activities linkedin page it was shared it was actually really uh, it was really a good work for us so this was the thing that we do and in 2000, in 28 just recently in 28 of april we also celebrated the itpoli site day there were also webinars that we got and there was also from dr anis from the uh, steering itpoli uh, site steering committee he also visited us uh, for this event and uh, to no further actually what we have then it's 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 a huge amount and huge collaborative work that we have been doing now uh, just like a very uh, interactive youtube video is already there so i will be sharing the link you please visit the uh, website all there like with, uh, with all the websites and uh, the videos like to the to know the activities that we have going on it's like and very uh, green because the activity has not yet completed the funding will end on 27th of june after that only we can know we can have a conclusive uh, conclusive thing and uh, till now it has been going really great actually it has been going really great students are learning students are building very interesting for in the videos also you can see like they have designed and uh, blind man stick they have designed automatic hand sanitizer so these are small small solutions that they can provide and these are the technical educations that we are trying to impart because the point is that it is not only about me it is about us it is not like what we are learning it is about what we can teach others so that they can teach others and then it continues it is the knowledge transfer that we are doing because as an engineering student we all know what an arduino is but if we could teach a real students of our child you don't have to get funding also for it to be very pertinent and you don't have to get funding also to it if you have an for motivation to do it so what you can do whenever you visit your own home i know like like uh, an engineering college always used to be in an uh, mostly in uh, cities actually and but whether the engineering college is in city when you go back to your home just like i belong to a very remote area when i go back to my home i know one thing like during the vacation time i know like one thing like okay let's like uh, teach one at least one children of my area so that they know better they they, they know better and they can learn it because it is really not accessible during back 
it's my own personal story actually that's why i have been motivated in such a way it is my own personal when i was back in a, a Uh, class uh, class primary student actually class nine ten student so there was one senior who was from IIT Delhi so like he from that area he was the only one person who could crack IIT and he was in IIT Delhi so when he came back for his vacation to my to my hometown I used to visit him I used to visit him and then he initially started giving me lots of videos actually so that time internet was not there and still internet connectivity is an issue at that particular area where I belong. So they he used to give me lots of YouTube videos for uh, pen drive. So I used to collect them and so them I I I really knew like what really science is and I enjoyed doing it. So since I got it from him, so it is my responsibility so that I can give it to others, and then it will become his responsibility so that it becomes another. And and in this way we'll be creating a chain. It's 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 not about like teaching one student, but that one student, the student that you can teach. could make the change and that is important actually this is how it has started you can just start like the spark has started back in 2017 and then it has so moved into such a like a figure that we are expecting like more funds uh, so that we can extend this the concept of e hub electronic hobby hub for technical development is well schools so we are trying to we are hoping that after that it will be expanded because of the feedback that we have received and the success of the projects that we can see So the key takeaway. So I have just concluded the part part of my personal journey. It was like my personal journey through this. Now, what are the key takeaways that I can get from all this thing that I have been doing? The key the key takeaways are quite uh, interesting. The first thing is this. This is again a very wonderful YouTube video. You should really go through it. It's by uh, Richard Saint John. Why? So first of all, you should have patience. The passion to work. you should be focusing you should push yourself you should have ideas you should improve you should serve idea serve others and persist so during all this process since 2007 16 to 17 to 2022 that what we have seen like you can see like all this thing exactly fits in a complete circle that's why in this particular stage you can see like things going around and then you can see outcomes that people are working around it around it next Is, this is again a YouTube video that I really like it. It is known as the Golden Circle. So we say, right? हम लोगों को engineering करना है. सब लोग क्या बोलते हैं? हम लोगों को what? कुछ करना है मतलब engineering करते हैं after B Tech. Uh, sorry, after your H S like high secondary engineering करना. हम लोगों को सबको पता है. कैसे engineering करना है? We just go to any engineering college. हम लोगों को मिल जाएगा. चार साल में degree मिल जाएगा. उसके बाद job लग जाएगा. In the but internally we do not know why we are doing. हम लोग क्यों कर रहे हैं बट इट शुड बी द अदर अराउंड अदर वे अराउंड टू मेक इट अ लॉन्ग रन एक्चुअली दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग सो वी शुड हैव दिस व्हाई फैक्टर फर्स्ट देन हाउ देन सो व्हाई ऑल दिस आइडियाज दैट आई हैव बीन सेइंग टू गेट द फंडिंग ऑफ दिस एट दिस मेजर स्केल वी 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 डिड नॉट इनिशियली हैव दिस व्हाई वी डिडंट इनिशियली गो डायरेक्टली फॉर आई टू साइट फंडिंग वी डिडंट आस्क फॉर आई टू साइट फंडिंग डायरेक्टली वी स्टार्टेड अ स्मॉल इनिशिएटिव एक्चुअली एट दैट टाइम we didn't have funding funding you can see like we didn't have much funding at that time but we started this because we <coughs> know exactly why we were doing it this why and then we know how we will be going doing it. this it was the why after that there was after this why there was how and we know it was e hub it was e hub so this was what our how and then we know what this is our result and you can see a uh, this is our what we got the funding and we launched it into a large scale activities that has resulted in and the thing is that it's not about uh, having this great scale it's, it's about teaching you can see the happiness in this this is a college student it was again quite uh, interesting this was a college that was uh, there at rural school they were all bsc students but at that time they didn't have laptop facility they didn't really know how to basic of actually computers they don't know basic of computers so this kind of happiness when you see in the face of the student it was it's it's really a nice so the uh, back there in assam where this workshop was going on so it was uh, coordinated by the regional coordinator who was there by anu so what the story that i have uh, gained from the volunteers like the school students they were so emotionally connected 
It's like when we had the like final, because we initially had this trading kind of period for round six and one week. So once the trading was completed, the, the students literally cried. So you can see like the students, they were not interested to come to the school, but they were without like any hesitation. They were there in the schools from morning till evening, like from morning till evening, from morning till evening. And, the, and to be noted around the school students, they actually, although there was one single school, but the students had to travel a long path to reach them. This is again the issues of connectivity. So this is the personal experience that the volunteers get actually. This is the story. This is how you actually get connected personally through IEEE. So I already said, this is one key takeaway, like completing the circle and the golden circle. So rather than thinking what to do, always think why we are doing it. We should know the why and it should come internally. Now, a very interesting story. We all know the story actually. This is again an interesting YouTube video. So we already know the story of the tortoise and the rabbit. So the same story. But this tortoise and the rabbit, the story, it has a twist. It really has a twist. The twist is that rather than walking, let's say now you have a river around. Now the race will complete whenever you will be completing the river. Now, at one point, the tortoise is running slowly, slowly, slowly. The rabbit is running very fast. And he know from the previous story, what he know that if I slip, I can't, I can't uh, like win. So what he did, he ran this time. But there was the harder, he can he couldn't cross the river. Then slowly and slowly, the tortoise, now he thought in a different way. And he said, let's pack up together. So what he did, in the road, where, uh, in the road, in the normal road, the the tortoise was carried by the rabbit and when there was water and they want to cross it the tortoise took the lead and the tortoise carried the rabbit and this way both actually won the race together so that's the thing alone you can go fast no not doubt but together we can go further the outcome of it is not a single person's outcome it is not my single effort it is the effort of all the volunteers that all the volunteers and the guidance of the teachers that have been uh, there around. So once again, I acknowledge all the sources that were taken from the internet. So uh, it, it, uh, I really apologize for making uh, the slides actually not that much uh, appealing to all because I have been traveling uh, since tomorrow. Uh, and again, I would really like to thank all the faculty advisors around uh, and also the executive members of APMTPS, SBC, IIT Kharagpur, and specifically thanks to all the volunteers back there in the Bruga University who had been actually taking this initiative. That's the thing, it's not only about me, so it's not me, so this is the, not a very important person, but all the important persons are, these are the important persons that have been involved in this project all around, all around. Again, once again, like uh, the very famous quote, like I could see further because I was standing on the shoulder of giants. I think so that's the reason. These are all giants that I have been riding around and they have been quite uh, uh, quite uh, active around to do this kind of honor. Now, uh, coming back, uh, since you like it is an IIT, MPTS, SBC, IIT, Kharku, so it is a micro technical and theory society. And as it was already mentioned earlier, so there is an uh, undergraduate scholarship for every one of us. So please do feel free to apply. So the amount of around 1500 US dollar will be credited to them, uh, to you for doing research in this uh, area. Plus you will be getting an additional $1,000 traveling to travel to US for a conference. I am at the flagship conference. Uh, that's my bad luck because due to Corona and this time I applied, but the visa, like there is no interview slots for visa. So I couldn't travel actually to get the award. So it will be like uh, given to me through post, not the money, but the plate, like the certificate actually. <laughs> and in 2021, I was the only Indian to win the award this time, uh, back in 2021. And it is good, like you should apply more. And then I would end uh, by saying like I could see further because I have been standing on the shoulder of giants. So uh, yeah, that's all. And thank you for tolerating me so long. It's a very short talk. So I would be rather uh, happy to have a discussion with all of you uh, rather than uh, like it, it could be a one way of uh, talk.
So th thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much once again for inviting me uh, in this platform and to share my own personal experience. Thank you. I would be happy to uh, have questions actually. That's the point I like. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. We just got very, really, very motivated from your words. It was an inspirational session for all of us, and we were glad to have you as a speaker today. So, if um, anyone has, hello. No, I have some questions, some queries. Yes, Actually, our student also want to uh, just uh, participate in undergraduate. I think some fellowship programs also. Yes, right. Yes. Uh, yes. So these are recommended from uh, different uh, societies like computer society, robotic society. Every yes. time uh, we used to see there. But uh, what is exactly criteria of these uh, fellowship programs? How to like, yes. uh, because sometimes uh, their CGP criteria is a uh, university criteria, is something different and they want something else. Like suppose uh, a student in third year. So how can uh, we participate? Suppose uh, some of the students are in first year, so how will they participate? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. It's, it's really an interesting question. I actually wanted to answer. So, uh, as you already said, there are society-specific scholarships. So, I got the award from Microwave Society. First of all, uh, you shouldn't, the CGPA actually doesn't matter. First of all, CGPA doesn't matter. And you can be anywhere, like you can be a final year student, you can be a master's student. Actually, there are two categories of awards that are given. So for this particular award, it is undergraduate scholarship and one is graduate. So similarly, for electronic devices and society, they also have a similar. So there are two categories. One is for undergraduate, one is for graduate. Antenna propagation also I know. And there are a few other scholarships like from Computer Society, Richard E. Merwin Scholarship. So all of these scholarships, so there are also Richard E. Merwin Scholarship, who is one of my colleagues actually, back in IIT Kharagpur. So I also know something about that. And also there was one student who was a uh, fellowship recipient from Electronic Devices Society. So just I'm combining uh, like all of it, my personal experience and their personal experience for applying this scholarship. First of all, what I came to know is this, uh, it doesn't matter like uh, what, whether you're having a CGPA or not. Okay. First of all, first criteria. Second thing is this, you have to write a statement of purpose. So writing a statement of purpose is what they uh, mainly take into account, writing the statement of purpose. Now, uh, so say you want to apply for a Richard E. Merwin scholarship. Now, Richard E. Merwin scholarship, the criteria is very uh, stringent that you should be a computer society student. Then you should be also volunteering for it. You have to be volunteering for computer society uh, com Society, and then you will be getting this award. So, this is the award that is given for Richard e. Merwin Scholarship. Now, for Micro Technics and Theory Society, uh, you have to, like, you have to, you have, or you may or may not be an IEEE member. Mostly for undergraduate fellowships, you may or may not be a, an IEEE membership, not even the society membership. You can apply to it, you can apply to it. Now, you have to write a statement of purpose. Now, suppose you want to apply for Micro Technics and Society Theory. And now you are writing to them that I want to work on devices and I want, I want to work on like semiconductor devices and I want to do this because uh, I, I believe that silicon is the one of the most uh, prominent thing and the next thing will come in uh, something from the device. Now, if you write this thing and you want to apply for micro technician society, the first way they will be rejected. Rejecting because you don't know where you should apply. Now, if as an undergraduate student, you have many uh, options, like you can be also a very interesting, uh, you, can, you can do, you are having an interesting control system. Say. Even control, every society has this kind of scholarship. Please go to the website as per I know. Now, if, if you want to have to work on control society, even solid state society. So once you apply for it, you have to, as I already said, you have to write a statement of purpose. So basically, you have to say that you are working on it and why you like the subject and what are your previous experience. So this is what uh, like I have seen, ma'am. Like having a previous experience is interesting. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting. So be before applying this undergraduate uh, and this graduate fellowship, I actually had a paper and that's also a best paper ever in one of the conferences. Uh, one of the best conferences uh, uh, in uh, international conference actually. So I think so that was an added point. Although I have uh, seen uh, many students who didn't have any previous experience, but they had shown an interest to work on it. That's all. One, uh, this is the second criteria. Now, 
third criteria. Third criteria I said like CGPA doesn't matter. Second criteria has said that uh, you have to write a statement of purpose kind of thing. Like why you are interested in this particular subject. And then you should have mixed message. Like you are writing for Microsoft techniques and then you are applying for any electronic devices fellowship. You will be not getting. So don't mix message. You should know which field you want to apply. Okay, it's a huge amount of it. Now, the third criteria is that you should have a letter of recommendation from your professor. Now, it is also an interesting point, uh, letter of recommendation from your professor. Means like, say your professor uh, who will be giving a recommend letter of recommendation will be, work, like if you want to give a recommendation for Microsoft theory, you sh your professor should also work, like he or she has a personal experience on working on micro devices or designing antenna, then it will be helpful actually. It's an added, to add uh, a thing for the student because you know like when you because this fellowship comes it is not that it's for the they think like you are using this fellowship to assist like it says like they annually assist in uh, electrical engineering so it's like they want some kind of a uh, project or like a paper writing the fund that they will be giving it is not like for any other purpose so even for here i have to uh, uh, write a report and i have to submit actually for them like after getting the scholarship what i have done i have given a proposal to them that i will be designing a radar and then what is the outcome of this amount that I, I have got actually. So this is one thing. The final criteria is that if you have some additional volunteering experience, specifically in IEEE, that actually added, adds to your CV. So before applying this, I was already chair, uh, I was already the vice, I was previously the vice chair actually while applying for this scholarship actually. Vice chair and I have done a quite bit of uh, IEEE volunteering uh, activities actually. So these four criteria I think so are one of the most uh, important point to uh, get into any kind of scholarship and fellowship. Ma'am, I have answered this question, I think so. So, any other doubts, ma'am? No, it's uh, clear. Uh, no issues. Uh, your uh, talk was undoubtedly a very awesome, uh, very, uh, it was very informative one. If, actually, we are eagerly waiting for such a talk. Uh, through which uh, our student uh, can be benefited, like uh, how to avail these uh, fellowships. And because these, some of the students are first year students, so uh, they should, uh, and they are volunteer ones, and some are office bearers. So they must know how to start their work, uh, uh, how to do volunteering. And uh, one thing I have already noticed that uh, uh, the work, what we want to do here, like uh, it should be related to uh, something like uh, it is it must be for humanitarian for the good yes, of yes. Uh, always um, uh, so we should uh, seek the problem like uh, around uh, what uh, the people are facing experiencing around them like uh, suppose we are living in Kanpur city so there are so many problems some basic problems uh, for the human beings so especially I think uh, we should concentrate on rural uh, area for countryside or like only this, just only uh, uh, urban. Is it uh, actually uh, it, it, for site funding? What I have seen actually, it is basically like if you go to rural areas actually rather than mm -hmm. urban areas because uh, it's not that urban area don't have any problem. Man. It is actually there are lots of problem even in yeah, urban areas also. But yes, man, but we have to just figure it out. That's the thing. The, like the first step to apply for funding is this, why we are doing it. This is what they will be asking. And the good thing is that man, do apply for a site funding. Even they reject, they always give you comments actually. So this is how we have rectified. We have get, we have got rejection then. Like it's the third time that we got in funding. <laughs> and all the good thing actually happened. So I was yesterday uh, on 28, there was a seminar with uh, Dr. Arfi. So he was, he's the, now the site steering committee. So back then, uh, he's from University of Calgary, he completed his degree and now he's working in analog devices. Also, he's a side wall, uh, steering committee. So he was telling that during his undergraduate, like his student life, he even had many rejections actually from science. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said good things come from rejection. Yeah, definitely. Actually, we have, we also have applied uh, for uh, site funding uh, last year and it was a combined uh, proposal of uh, humanitarian technology activity in region 10. So we received uh, $500 there for the project of oxygen concentrator, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so in the same way, now we have applied for a big funding this year because uh, now uh, we received a certificate for the same project 
uh, when we are deploying hospital uh, in a government hospital so we received the certificate also so it's working well so now we are uh, about to uh, basically it's just waiting for let's hope for the best uh, what will happen in the future uh, definitely they give a lot of chances to uh, make over your uh, proposal and uh, some statement of problem and all the things so yeah. need get up to date then uh, they uh, uh, give their mark uh, thank you so much uh, pallav anshika you may go on yes ma'am uh, good evening everyone it was such an honor for me to get the opportunity to thank you all dignitaries i would like to express my gratitude to all the esteemed delegates of the webinar for their presence and contribution to make this webinar a great success i extend my gratitude to our speaker mr pallab sir to take out time from his busy schedule to grace the event so hereby we present a moment to, to to thank you for inspiring and encouraging us with your words i must thank the organizing team volunteers for working hard for the past few days to make this webinar successful thank you thank you thank you thank and, you and uh, can we capture a moment yes yes ma'am yes ma'am so please uh, make a request to all of uh, i am requesting to all of you please uh, open your videos so that we can capture this memory i think john has joined uh, very late uh, something uh, i think it may be some network issues hi john how are you yeah i'm fine and you yeah me too also okay good afternoon everyone yeah yeah even this year we are also waiting to organize some uh, pes activities also if we can collaborate uh, and do something new that will be good uh, for uh, us Uh, like uh, some uh, workshop type if we can uh, give some hands on session for electronics engineer or something else like some industry most probably uh, i would like to go for some industrial workshop and uh, some kind like uh, it may be some sort of kind of yeah which we bring as we got that yeah yeah to see you here Anushka, your background is dark. Yeah, now it's okay. Is it yes. okay. Perfect. Perfect. And please send uh, mail uh, to Pallab also, uh, just uh, for delivering uh, such a nice uh, session and uh, this um, uh, token uh, gratitude of memento also in the form of soft copy of. And definitely in near future we will be calling you at our uh, institute. Please, uh, you are most welcome there. And even uh, we are planning to conduct uh, uh, some uh, conference also. This will be based on only for undergraduate students. Uh, yeah, so yeah. their uh, publication, their paper will be published in our magazine. So um, I think uh, during December we have planned. So please, uh, you are most welcome in that conference. Sure, sure, ma'am. Thank you. And specifically, all the students like it's really nice to have such an like enthusiastic faculty advice. Actually, that's the thing. Actually, you like faculties are one of the most important part of our life. Actually, they actually like you have such a wonderful faculty that always motivates you. So it's a very nice. Especially uh, to ma'am also like for this for the seminar, like the virtual therapy. Thank you. Thank you so thank much, Pallav. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sure, ma'am. And also, whenever you come to IIT Kharagpur, please let us know so that we can arrange some lab visits for you. So sure. In future, also when we have any workshops, we will be definitely calling you, ma'am. Sure, definitely. We'll be definitely. Happy definitely. to meet everyone. Yes. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Thank you all, and have a nice day. I think the snapshot has been done by Ankita, ma'am.
yes yes okay okay thank, thank you, so you all thank, thank you sir you. for your motivational speech you, today you. thank you sir thank you thank you thank